good to see you again after like a long time posting a video it was last time like before five months and thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me and reaching 1.4 which is like almost 1.5k subscribers thank you so much and please keep watching my videos and i will get back to you uploading another new videos today video is gonna be a little bit different which i'm gonna explain i got a like a comments from my subscribers so I was just gonna do it again I have previously uploaded a video about how to convert um, files from AutoCAD to ARCHICAD so we have now Islamic decoration partner so you can do designs like a curtain you can design like carpet anything you want you just you're gonna do custom made so I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it again an easy way as I keep doing my old videos in easy way so keep following. Okay, let's start. Uh, I have an open file for Archicad, so this is one of them. Uh, if what it, what is the main point is like whenever you have something, be sure that there is no another things around this AutoCAD because whatever you share this one to AutoCAD, I mean Archicad, it will all be copied here. So be sure like it's only like this what you want to copy it over Archicad software. So I'm just gonna do save and then I close it and then we're gonna go to Archicad we're gonna go to file and then we're gonna go to the interoperability and then we're gonna go to merge and then from merge files so I have here my own files so here where it's been saved I'm gonna click on this one and then select open and I will just click OK and it will show me like specifically model space wherever you want x and y z but i prefer to work around it around the measurements and everything so i will just click merge and click any place you like just like this and then click ok and it's gonna be loading a little bit and then we gonna go zoom in so it's gonna be here already so so now like I have all of them I have to ungroup it if I want to select one of them and you work on it and another tip is like when you work on something it's grouped and then you draw around it over all and then you do you remove that the the partner and then you're gonna delete it and you keep the one you wanted I will show you at the end how it's gonna go so when you're gonna select like over all and right click OK and it's gonna be loading a little bit and we're gonna go to the um, edit and then there is a grouping and then we're gonna go ungroup also oh, it's gonna a little bit loading um so it's been worked so skip and then select this one i keep doing this one previously i used this custom made you can select wherever you like guys but um I will just try to deal with this one if work with me sometimes it doesn't work because it's gonna be tricky which area you want to open or which one you want to close but I'm gonna go quickly showing you how to do this one right click okay and then you know how to do copy which is shift control and D I'm gonna do like this and it's gonna drag it a little bit down and that's it okay for all so you can you can do now in this stage if you don't want to like all of them to be move around you right click okay and then you're gonna go again to grouping and uh, I mean like grouping and then group it so it won't be tricky for you whenever you design around and you can just delete it so it is easy for you and now I have I'm just doing a skip and then now we have this one which is not grouped so we prefer it to be grouped and right click go to the edit and then grouping and then group it okay so sometimes you have a big size of carton wall or carpet whatever you want to custom it uh, we're gonna go to the document and we draw polyline whatever you like whatever suits you so we're gonna go with like maybe 1000 with the 1000 okay I can see it's gonna be smaller than it. I will go. I will just go with um, uh, 2,500 maybe. And you know the dimensions in Archicad is all like um, millimeters. And if you want to change in the setting, but for me, I'm good with this one. And then that. 
So what you're gonna do is like uh, click, I click it like this. You can click it quickly also and drag move, which is Shift plus D. I will click at this point and move it to the edge part. Easy. And then what you're gonna do is like we need to resize it. Yeah, we're gonna go to edit, and then we're gonna go to um, reshape. So after reshape, we're gonna go to resize, and then it will just give you like what type of things you wanted to do for me i keep doing like the way i like it which is clicking from here part to this part and then drag it to the down part just slower and then now i have the design it's so good you know so if you want to select it all i'll just select all of them like this and then Control d and move it a little bit further up down and that's it so now we're going to go to the slope Okay, it depends on what type of slab you like. One is not visible, I don't understand why, but it's fine. I'm gonna click on this one and then I think this one is a drawing one for you, so I'll just go with it. Okay, and then click on the slab so you can see the slab how it looks like. We can change the thickness, we make it 100. It depends on what type of you are doing. Still, I'm repeating the same thing. Uh, click on the colors. I'm gonna go with the golden. I miss this color. <laughs> okay, and then I will click on this point, and then there's here minus, which is subtract from polygon, and click on it. And then you are clicking from your keyboard a space. So depend on which one you wanna open. For example, I wanna open this one, and then click again slap, and then keep going. Like what I did is like I click a slap again and then I'm gonna go again to my keyboard space space like this space and this one space and easy for me to track it all uh, okay I'll keep going okay left this one this one this one this one this one okay kind of tricky sometimes take more time and more concentration which one you have to open which one you have to close it happens so okay uh, this is how it's look like after we open it I will just do a skip and then we're gonna go to 3d and this is how it's look like at the top so it's kind of different and quick one and if you want to just make it in a vertical you know how to do it which is like I uh, my point in the beginning I mentioned for you guys you can delete it whatever you like to do and then I'm gonna go to the m making it a vertical elevation so what I'm gonna do is like I have this one I will just I leave it and then I will click on this point and I can do remove this one uh, be, uh, you have to be aware which where is the slab I can remove this one the slab track copy and then I can do it like this and I can just remove this one too Drag, copy and put it here and that's it so we have this one you can sometimes remove it itself without like uh, removing at the top of this one so it's selected you can just delete it or we can do undo back it's back so you have to be aware that you have to group it to remove this one after you draw what you wanted okay i have a, i made a copy right now so we're gonna go to the 3d and then in 3d we're gonna select on this one and then we select convert selection to morphs so we're gonna select this one and it will come to us this part and then we just do okay and then what is gonna show me like you have to put elevation um where are your viewpoint and then foot here one i'm gonna do like this and then do like this okay so i'm gonna go here at the right side so there is elevation i'm just looking for it which is this one e1 okay right tick, double click on it it will show you also you're gonna do this one and then you know rotate uh control e rotate Click from one point to another point and then put it up like this and that's it and we're gonna go here this is how it's look like um i hope my explanation was easy and quick to have the concept and being easy to do it and i hope i answered um 
some of my subscribers they asked me for this question and please if you have any questions or a doubt and anything you can just write comments below this video or you can contact me directly through my email and please don't forget to subscribe and share and thank you for watching